a devilish high to everybody on this hill that we all live upon. Oh, fuck me. You know, everybody's talking about September 23rd, 2015. We're all gonna die and the Illuminati's gonna overthrow the world and, you know, drop the currency and make us all go broke. I believe in all. I believe anything the Illuminati does to us. Fuck. But they say they're going to start up CERN. September 23rd, 2015. I've I seen too much shit on YouTube. So many videos about CERN. About the cartoons the Illuminati throw out and the fucking the sheep the sheeplets or whatever fuck you wanna call those morons that watch television every day. Of course I used to be one of them, so uh but uh you know, once you wake up and realize television's the wrong thing to watch every day in life, then you just go on with your life. But thank God there are people out there watching television and they're, they're showing all these cartoons with 923 on it, everywhere. It's kind of scary, everybody. It's really scary. Well, I come across CERN YouTube channel. And they're supposed to set up and let it all go maximum and uh, see if they can get a black hole or... Uh, a third dimension or uh, they're hoping they can get the devil from hell of course that'll never happen the devil's been released already okay yeah he was released on 6 6 2006 believe it or not so they're just fucking wasting their fucking time trying to hopefully the devil come through the black hole to save the world that they created for us all to die on. <sighs> Believe it or not, well, it's the truth, people. So here's this little message that I'm sending to CERN. You destroy this hell we all live on on September 23rd, 2015. I will see all of you click 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 okay I'll see all of you in hell that that burns forever in hell good luck we need ah uh, we need you all to die on this hell you have created the hippie terrorist well I'm not a good reader right now because I'm a fucking drunk right now, but here we go. Let's send that, baby. Okay. There you go. Yeah, message was sent. I hope CERN reads that. Oh, fuck. There's your 666 symbol. Right there, 666. Well, uh, CERN, a little message to y'all and the CIA and the Illuminati and uh, whoever the fuck else wants to kill this earth that we all live on and uh, we all cherish like it's part of our hearts and it's part of our souls and you know what, there's a deep, 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 deep burning volcano way below your feet. Yeah, it's an upside down volcano. One that, when you get in hell everybody, yeah, that volcano is upside down. The very tip. That little very tip, okay? That little very tip of that volcano. Oh, that's upside down in the pits of hell. Well, uh, 
Remember, all arcane notes shoot lava out of it. <laughs> and it burns trees, it burns rocks, it burns any living thing upon this earth. It just lava's the hottest thing upon this earth, okay? Well, the brimstone that's inside the pits of hell, yeah, it's a little bit hotter. It's just, just about as almost as hot as the sun can get, but now I think the sun's a little bit, just a little bit hotter, okay? And just between that, yeah, I think I'm going to be hotter than that myself. Remember, sir, because this video is going to go out to you guys, this link, okay? Once I upload it. I'll let you learn here everything I got to say about them because you remember I'm the hippie terrorist, okay? Yeah, I'm the one that sent you guys that uh, email that says I'm gonna see y'all in hell on September 23rd once we all die. Yeah, because uh, I believe in 666 too, but of course I don't believe in the devil because uh, the devil don't exist in my eyes when I go to hell. Matter of fact, sir, and the Illuminati and the CIA and the FBI and your children and everybody else's children that's going to go burn in hell forever. Remember, yeah, I'm going to be the big kingpin in uh, the pits of hell. The devil, if there is a devil, trust me, he's not going to be around me. Why? Because he's going to fear me more than he's going to fear his God. Because uh, my God doesn't do nothing to the devil, okay? But I have done a lot of things to the devil. I've done a lot of things to my God. And uh, trust me, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be the worst nightmare in the pits of hell, but I'm the worst nightmare on this earth, okay? Or this hell that y'all created for us all to die upon. Yeah, you go push that little fucking switch, sir. And may we all see you in the pits of hell, each and every one of you, when you blow up this earth, or, or you think you're going to release the devil out of the pits of hell, because he's been released, okay? He's been released a long time ago. Yeah. He ain't no more in the pits of hell. Matter of fact, he might be living in somebody right now. Of course, he doesn't live in one person. He lives in a couple, a couple billion human beings upon this earth that's fucking killing this earth right now in front of our eyes. Yeah. Well, everybody. I hope you have food stored. Yeah. I hope you have a good occupation. You're going to need one. To survive in life once it's going to be a cashless society. Alright. You know our God's not going to be with us on this one, okay? A lot of people think so. Yeah, I, I, I wish our God was going to be with us, but he's turned his back against us. You understand this? You understand every one of us who, who, who talks like this in this world? Because preachers say God's with you and God loves you and God's going to save you and Jesus Christ is going to come back and wraps you off this fucking hell we all live upon so you're not going to live through tribulation. 
I think each and every one of us got a wake up call here one day. God's not with us, okay? If God was with us, he'd be with me too, okay? But as I look around and I've seen everything happen to me, and I see people steal from me, I see people calling me a piece of trash on this earth. Well, you know what? We're all the same human beings on this earth. Black, white, China, North Americans, you know, North Am the Native American Indians, should I say. I have respect for each and every one of you are still full-blooded Native American Indians. But the Illuminati of the British government assassinated each and every one of your brothers and sisters and uncles and cousins and uh, I think we all need to see the royal bloodline, the CIA and the FBI die just like the Native Americans have died. Yeah, watch watch their heads being uh, used as ornaments. Their, their hair used as ornaments on walls like the white man did to the Native American Indians. Sure, I say the CIA and FBI and the Illuminati did to the Native American Indians' heads. I would like to post a FBI agent's head on my wall and an FBI agent's head and the, the top of the, you know, the top head of the CIA agent's head on my wall and the FBI, the top agent of the FBI's head on my wall. And I would like to have the top honcho, like Rothschild's head or the Rockefeller's head, or, you know, Rockefeller's head, right there on top of my wall. And just have it there with their tongue sticking out like Dick Cheney did behind Barack Obama's butt when he was pretending he was going to lick Barack Obama. Barack, uh, should I say, Barack and Sane Obama's butt. Yeah, big old long tongue that I always use on my website cartoons. See, uh, I, I, you know, I'm a sick motherfucker, but if you go in their houses, you'll probably see every animal God has created inside their house, on their walls, heads. So, uh, Oh, I don't have no animal heads in my wall, but yeah, I think I would like to have this top CIA agent's head and the top FBI agent's head and the top Illuminati's head and the top royal bloodline head. Hell, fuck yeah, put the queen of England's head. That ugly looking bitch. Hell, everybody would have fun with that fucking head stuck on my wall. Trust me, by the time that fucking hag was done with the makeover up everybody would do on her face, on the, on the side of my wall, I can imagine what the fuck that ugly looking bitch looks like now, but when we're all done with hers, fucking ugly looking head on the wall, on my, my hippie terrace wall, okay? Alright, the hippie terrace wall. Yeah, right, in, right, right here in my house, right behind me, so everybody could see her ugly looking face. Yeah, right back there. Yeah. I think we'd have us a fucking laugh forever. Yeah, I think we would all be laughing for eternity. That, that everlasting laugh. You know, some people that think like I do, I love them like a sister and a brother. We got a good heart. You know, like Little Bird Senior, and you know, she, she makes videos about me and says she supports me. But you know, this is one of a kind video today. I know son's gonna come after me hard. Yeah, I need to find their website and send that sub message to them, but I'm pretty sure this is their website. I'm really sure it is. 
What else? CIA and FBI. Uh, are you employees gonna let me sit there and hang uh, your top official, your 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 supervisor, or what the fuck you wanna call him, your your president of the CIA? Yeah, I like to have Brock and St. Obama and George Bush's heads. All the Bush's heads on my wall, too. Fuck yeah, I would. Wouldn't you? Of course. Yeah. Uh, where the fuck are my glasses at in my hat? You don't know who the fuck I am. Oh. Fuck me, man. God damn, I'm supposed to be a terrorist. You're not supposed to see who in the fuck I look like. Because when I think about cutting off the top of the CIA's head or the fucking top poncho of the FBI or the top poncho of the Illuminati and the top poncho of the fucking royal bloodline, which was just Queen of England, of course, I like to have that son's, his her grandson's head. Yeah, Prince Charles, what the fuck you call that little midget guy that thinks he's gonna sit there and be king, become king of the earth? Yeah, I like to have his head on my wall. That would be the mwah, 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 Satan's head on my wall, because of course he pretends he's Satan. Just like everybody else wants 666 in our lives, like CERN. You guys got to look at CERN. It is 66666, though. I see four sixes. Somebody told me it was like one, two, three circles, though. If they're trying to deceive you, really, there's only three circles there. They're trying... They covered that up. Unreal, folks. There are three fucking sixes there. Somebody showed me this on YouTube. And I said, yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. One, two, three circles. Do you see four circles? Well, I see four lines that's covering up that. Or there's actually... There's actually one, two, three, four, five lines. But they're trying to cover up that six so you don't see it. Yeah, I can see three sixes there. Easily. Just like Disneyland. Yeah, that looks like something like Disneyland would do. CERN. Yeah, you're going to get this loot today. Okay, everybody. So, September 24th, the collapse of the stock market. Our money's going to go, become useless, like the Mexican pesos become useless, like the Jamaican dollar is useless, like Argentina money and Greece's money and Spain's money and all these other money or currencies around the world, just like Canada's money. What are we all going to do when this happens? Well, y'all at me puts the heads of everybody that uh, you guys go out there and uh, do whatever you want to do. I don't give a fuck, okay? I wish I could meet them all in person. I wish I had that opportunity. God damn, I wish I had that opportunity. To meet Barack and St. Obama in front of my eyes, he'd be dead. He'd be dead in a heartbeat. The top CIA agent, yeah, he'd be dead instantly if I could get a chance to do that. I, I, the FBI, top head on the FBI, he, he'd be dead in front of my eyes if I had that chance to do that. But I'm asking each and every one of you upon this earth, send them to court, put them on trial, have a jury of 12 say that we can execute them, and 
and uh, let me be the one that executes them, okay? I would love to have their heads hanging on my wall. Damn, that's one sick fucking video I've done tonight, sir. In fact, I'd like to have all your employees' heads fucking hanging on the wall once you're going to open up the pits of hell. Yeah, I think there's going to be chaos September 23rd. But let's hopefully that CERN's machines blow up. They kill everybody inside that fucking place underneath the ground. Everybody dies. And it'll become a fucking big old huge haunted graveyard. For us all to explore in, in about 10 years after all the radiation and everything else is settle out. And then we'll go see all the CERN employee spirits underneath the pits of hell. Yeah, I think I would love to go do that, CERN. So uh, here you go. My last hit to the world since we're all going to die, of course. Of course, today is... Uh, September 18th, so uh, by the time uh, this video gets out, uh, hopefully there's going to be a whole bunch of hits and uh, hopefully CERN, all the employees of CERN sees this video so they can see all sees my face, what I looks like in life in the pits of hell, because you're going to see my face forever, okay? CIA agents, FBI agents, the Illuminati agents. Of course, the Illuminati, should I say, and all their agents like below them that worships the Illuminati like, Oh, oh, give me more money. I'll kill anybody you want. Y'all kill anybody you want. Just give me money. Hell, I'll kill children for you. Just give me that money every day. I'll kill all the children you want, like all the United States soldiers says. Yeah, all the United States soldiers and British soldiers and French soldiers and all the UN soldiers that fucking want to wipe out a couple billion children on the face of this earth. Yeah, all of you. You're all worth a piece of fucking shit upon this earth. Like, I don't see how my God allows you people to stay alive. But I think we're all going to wake up and we're going to play God upon your asses. Like you try to play God upon our asses. And we're going to show you who, who the bigger God is in life. Because you're all going to die one day. That's if you don't kill yourselves before we get a chance to do that. Yeah. Yeah. A letter to the sun. I like that title. Well, sir... Now, in fact, I know the FBI is going to be watching this video, and the FBI and CIA and who the fuck else is going to, because there's going to be a couple of FBI agents going to watch this. That's the reason why I repented the FBI and the FBI. <sighs> Remember one thing, everybody. You got children. Which, you're not going to be able to protect those children once I'm dead, okay? There's another option for you to go to. Of course, there's no other option. You're just going to die and burn in hell with me forever. So there's no other option about what you've done in the past. You can't clean up your soul. But yeah, I think you can. If you all, CIA agents and the FBI agents, can prove pre Present me to the top, top, top head honcho. Yeah, the top head honcho, because I'm on his head. The top head honcho of the CIA and FBI. Yeah, it's the only way I'm not going to touch your children and you in hell forever. That's all I ask for. That's all I ask for from each and every one of you. And that prevent me from touching your children and your great-grandchildren and everybody else that fucking is an offspring from the past and in the future, like your mother and your great-grandmother 
and your grandpa and your and your dad. Yeah, because they're all going to burn in hell. They're, they got the same bloodline like you, okay? Once you fuck up, you fuck up everybody's souls. All of your souls. That's the reason why I think all the CIA agents are going to burn in hell. Because it takes one fucked up CIA agent to destroy all the CIA agents. It takes one FBI agent to fuck up all the FBI agents in front of my eyes. I don't know about God's eyes, but God's gonna let me do anything I want to do to you motherfucking child molesting, cocksucking, motherfucking child murderers. Forever in hell. Anything I want to do to your children. I'm vicious, remember, I'm the hip, <gasps> the hip Oh fuck, where's my disguise at? You go, well, I don't give a fuck. You go, I, I'm glad I did, because I want you all to remember who I am. Right now, but forever in hell. I wish I had another beer, so I guess I'll just drink some water and sober up and Wait for September 23rd to come around. Well, let's all join together in prayer and hopefully let's all pray that the goddamn machine equipment that's buried so deep below in Europe's land, it's a big old huge circle. Let's all pray and hope that some terrorist goes inside there plants bombs all around that place and when they push that button everybody standing around BOOM! They're all dead and wiped off the face of the surf. Nah. But yeah, okay. I mean, just all, let's all let's all pray that I can be the hippie terrorist and have that happen, but it'll never happen. They'll never let my skinny hippie terrorist ass in there. So let us all pray another prayer, okay? Let us all pray that when when that top dickhead honcho of CERN presses that go button, yeah, that start button, or whatever the fuck the turn the key button, whatever the fuck they got that fucking key that's going to open to the pits of hell. Let us all pray. Yeah, you know that little current key? The one that's gonna, the one person gonna turn that key to start up the sermon. Let us all pray together in this one prayer. And let us all hope when that one person turns the key, there's gonna be an explosion underneath the ground. Such an explosion that they will all perish off the face of this hell that they all created for us to die upon. Yeah, and let's all pray and hope that the Queen of England's underneath the fucking ground and Brock and Sane the bomb is underneath the ground and all the CIA agents and all the FBI agents, all our senators and Congress and governors and everybody else is underneath the pits of hell when they turn that key on, okay? Let's all pray and hope that they all die at the same time on September 23rd. And then when we wake up on September 24th, they think it's going to be a new world order. Well, the chaos they've created around the world in Syria and Egypt and Iraq and Afghanistan and Libya and all around the world, should I say. May we all wake up September 24th and have a a beautiful life to live forever. Let's all pray and hope that our God extincts our government officials around the world so we can never have a one world order and a one world currency. Well, you know everybody says when you say amen you're worshiping another God. Well, you know, I, I don't think my God's going to hear this one prayer. Because uh, I, I already asked God to, to assassinate the CIA and the FBI and the Illuminati and just wipe them all off the face of this earth. 
Well, maybe my God might answer my prayer September 23rd. Well, maybe God will answer your prayer. Why don't you pray the same prayer, okay? Pretty please? Pretty, pretty, pretty please? Maybe we'll all pray together and we'll see that one world order government, world bloodline and Rothschild bloodline and that Rockefeller bloodline and the J.P. Morgan bloodline and all these other fucked up maniacs who want a one world government, a one world order, a one world currency just perish off the face of this earth, along with the CIA and the FBI and the Illuminati. I think we're all just Freemasonaries and whatever the fuck you want to call those psychopathic child molesting cock sucking child murders, uh, you know, I just don't think there could be a, a more perfect prayer to ask our worthless God to help us before we all perish off the face of the earth, sir, before September 23rd. Well, sir, yeah, 666, uh, I get to see you all in hell forever, so uh, push that button, please, and... Uh, May my prayers be answered. Oh, pretty please, may my prayers be answered in that fucking big old huge circle underneath the ground goes, BOOM! And y'all dead? God damn it, that would be a rush. That would be a fucking the biggest batter's rush, because when I go to motorcycle races or I go to fights or I go to boxing matches. I want to see somebody die. And when I get on YouTube and make my videos, especially CERN, I want to see y'all die. Especially FBI and the CIA and the Illuminati. Yeah, that's my, that's the way I live in life. I want to see death in front of my eyes. Trust me, I've seen a lot of deaths that just make your head go backwards. Of course, you CIA and FBI, Illuminati, yeah. I'll be honest with you, I've never seen a child die. I haven't. I would try my best to save that child's life. That's the reason why I've never seen a child die in front of my eyes. Never have. Of course, the CIA, FBI, Illuminati, seen hundreds of millions of die, children die in front of their eyes so far. Hundreds of millions. Since 9-11. Yeah, there's some sick motherfuckers out there. Yeah, you guys are all fucking sick in your heads to allow the CIA, FBI, and the Illuminati have an occupation. It's an occupation to them to kill children around the world. You understand me? Trust me. The FBI and the CIA was involved in 9-11 attacks. Yeah, all the way right up to the fucking bombs they implant, imploded, should I say, inside the buildings. The three buildings, not two, three. Well, everybody, I got this one video to load up. I know I'm going to piss off some fucking people tonight, but you know what? May we all pray together and let's all hope they all die and perish off the face of this earth before September 24th. Amen. Remember, everybody, like the hippie tears has the cock. Damn it, before the hippie terrorist always has to say, love each other like the hippies do to have peace on earth. God damn, I hope you don't know who in the fuck I am in life. God damn it, how can, how can I be so stupid that wish and hope that everybody will just end the CIA and FBI's lives and Illuminati's lives before September 24th? Yeah, well, that's too much to hope for in life, so. Who gives a fuck?
Because everybody sees my video. I, they got some good old honest hearts. They just sit there and probably just pray along with me and hope God will do that for us. Of course, you all give me that chance to put all their heads upon my wall. I'd be a very proud hunter. Yeah. The best hunter upon the face of this earth, of course. The best terrorist, should I say. Yeah, the best terrorist on earth. Yeah, you put the president's head on your wall. You the biggest, baddest fucking terrorist upon this earth, of course. George Bush has fucking the king of Iraq's head upon his wall. So, uh, yeah, it'd be pretty hard to beat that one, of course. If I had George Bush's head on my wall, yeah, I could beat that one even better. Well, remember, we all got to be hunters. We all got to be terrorists. And we all got to chop the heads off the ones we kill, like the CIA does and the CIA mafia does in Mexico. And uh, just chop their heads off and put them on our walls, just like they did with the Native Americans' Indians' hair. Cause we got some sick motherfuckers that taught us how to be as sick as they are. So, uh, CIA taught us how to be fucked up in the head. So, uh, I think that's the best video I made so far tonight, sir. I mean, I have all your heads upon my wall. You have to blow yourselves up, okay? Good luck, sir. And, uh, May my prayers be answered like everybody else's prayers are going to be praying before September 23rd. And if you guys survive and you open up the pits of hell and y'all see the God that's going to destroy this earth, remember that God? Yeah, I'm a bigger and badder God than that going motherfucking be. The ones you're going to release, okay? Chris, I'm bigger and better than the devil himself. So, uh, I don't think you're gonna release a bigger and better angel than I. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to do that, okay? Because I'm the biggest and baddest angel once I die. But I'm the biggest and baddest terrorist before I die. Yeah, I like that idea. Put all your heads on my wall. Each and every one of you with your tongue stuck out like this. Ah, oh, man, I love to see that in my house every day. Walk in there, take everybody from around the world and go, Looks what I got, everybody. I got the top honchos, CIA's head. Yeah, the, the head honchos, FBI's head. And the head honcho, the royal bloodline's head. Head honcho like that Barack and St. Obama's head on my wall. Yeah. I think everybody look at me and go, he's one badass motherfucking terrorist. I'm going, I'm, I'm better than any mafia agents ever walked upon this earth. Yeah, any mafia person, ha 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 ha. Any evil ghost, ha 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 ha. Any terrorist, ha 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 ha. Any president around the world, ha ha ha. Any CIA agent, ha 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 ha. I'm the bigger and better than all of you put together. Yeah, remember that. All you put together. Yeah, I'll take you all on. Each and every one of you, bring you all in front of my eyes, okay? It takes you, I don't care how many, okay? Yeah, I'm bigger and better than each and every one of you, okay? Yeah. I'm gonna love it. And I'm gonna lay my hands on your children forever now. Especially you, but now I, I, I think I'm gonna enjoy your children like you do other people's children. Because <sighs> you touch other person's property in this life. I'm talking about children. Okay? You touch children around the world in front of parents' eyes and you just laugh at them like I'm laughing at you. Remember one thing, CIA and FBI Illuminati. 
they all have a second life. Especially certain employees, you all have a second life. Be careful, okay? Who you fuck with in life. Because you already fucked with me. Because you fucked with the other children upon this earth. So it's over with, alright? It takes one of you to destroy all your names. All of you CIA agents and FBI and Illuminati. In, in my eyes. In reality, in my life. You're the worthless... You're more worthless than a fucking bum killing a cockroach and eating it. Yeah, that's about as low life as you people are to survive on this earth by killing children for a new world order and one world currency, okay? Well, may you all be homeless before you all die, but may you all become homeless in hell where you have no place to hide at when I come upon your souls. I will see all your souls in hell. Now, I'm gonna enjoy it. I look forward for it. I accept hell. I accept the pain, the misery, and the fucking screaming, and the agony, and the gnashing of teeth that people are gonna be doing for eternity in hell. For eternity. I don't have nothing to say to my subscribers and the ones who watch my videos, okay? Do what you want to do with my videos. I don't care. Well, everybody who believes in Jesus Christ, uh, you know, after me living my life, uh, I think Jesus Christ was the, the queen of, the son of a queen. I just don't have no other way to accept life after you meet in the great, 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 great granddaughter of Magdalena and saying that Jesus Christ had sex with her great 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 grandmother and had children. Yeah, it just kind of flips your fucking ideology and your religion and everything else backwards, okay? So I'm not gonna hope Jesus Christ is gonna save me after tribulation. Let's all hope tribulation doesn't happen. Let's all pray that uh, our God to get off our his worthless fucking white ass and uh, white ball ass, should I say, and uh, have the CIA and the FBI and the Illuminati all in one building to have a big earthquake and the fucking walls come tumbling down upon them like they've killed hundreds of millions of children inside their school rooms and hospitals and milk factories and baby milk factories should I say so uh, parents can't feed their babies that's what the CIA does What a fucked up life. You open up your eyes, man. You realize what the fuck's going on. Of course, you gotta get educated. You gotta sit there and be like I and spend some hours just learning what the fuck is going on. Of course, nobody will get my message before September 23rd. So, the ones who uh, see my video, I hope you all have food stored away. Lots of dry food, like beans and rice. You're gonna need it. We got a lot, 
a long seven years of tribulation course. It's not gonna be seven years of tribulation. It could be like more like 13, 14 years. And everybody's gonna wait for Jesus Christ to come back and save their fucking asses before they receive the mark of the beast. Yeah, I don't think you uh, should be waiting around Jesus Christ. I think you need to watch a whole bunch of people, government officials, die in front of your eyes. All die. CIA agents, all the FBI agents, all the Illuminati agents die in front of your eyes. All of your eyes. Is United States, Iraq, Afghanistan, Egypt, Syria, Libya, Iran. North Korea, China. See all the CIA and the FBI agents die. Russia, all of Europe, all the United States, Canada, Mexico, Central and South America, all Africa. Watch the CIA agents die in front of your eyes. And we might be able to see our children grow up without having a tattoo on their forehead so they can buy and sell for the rest of their lives. I don't want that for my children. I don't want that for any human being on this earth. So CIA and FBI, remember my name. My name is Keith Ray Elam, okay? I'm not ashamed of telling you guys who I am or what I am. But my AKA is the hippie because you guys, I'm a hippie. I was born in 1960, partied with the hippies, seen how the hippies lived when I was a baby. I still see the hippies living today, party with them when I get a chance. We're all going to see you die one day, okay? All of us. Your children are going to see you die before they die, okay? I would prefer having you see your children dying before you die though, CIA and FBI and Illuminati. That is the best prayer that I could ask for for my God. That him killing your children in front of your eyes before you die. Let you feel how it feels like to have some parent around the world in Afghanistan and Iraq and Syria and Libya and all these other nations you invaded and you killed parents. And you killed children before you killed the parents. I want you all to feel that fucking pain and suffering before you all die. That's the best prayer I could ask my God for him to answer. And I hope everybody on earth prays like I do to my God. Before it all comes down September 24th. Amen to that. Enjoy those one video, YouTuber. I know you're going to hate me, you're going to take this video off, but remember we all have freedom of speech. I'm just speaking from my soul, deep inside, because I know who my soul really is. It's something that conquered the devil, okay? Yeah, I don't fear going to hell. Yeah, I don't fear going to heaven and sitting on the left hand side of my God and him bitch slapping me like he's done all my life. All right, I've got more pain than any human beings ever. Fucking CIA agents, ha ha ha. You come and put pain upon me. Yeah, I'm just gonna spit the blood in your face. And uh, hopefully you say I have AIDS. And you watch you all die from the blood I spit upon your face like you spit upon other people's faces. With your vaccines and your fucking chemtrails and your Anything else you do to depopulate the human race. 
we're all going to get our vengeance back. And my vengeance, yeah, you just seen a little bit of it, okay? Just a little bit, and it's only my words. Yeah, just my words. That's it. That's it. And but my words, you need to fear forever. For eternity. Especially while you're living on this earth right now, too. Because remember, your devil and the and the, all the gods you put together, that you worship the gods of destruction upon this earth. Yeah, I'm bigger and badder and more fierce than all of them put together. God, I wish I had a chance to lay my hands upon your bodies before you all die. That would be the thrill in life. Bigger thrill, me walking in my house every day and seeing my trophies hanging on the side of the fucking walls, all over my walls. That would be the biggest thrill. With all your tongues hanging out like you're fucking dogs, panting. <laughs>